What's up everybody, it's Matt from Peter Glenn and in this video we're gonna to talk to you about step-on sizing and how to make sure that you get the proper size bindings for your boots. Let's check this out. When it comes to boots and bindings, when you have a traditional strap binding, usually there's a lot of adjustment with that. You can basically adjust the straps to get them to fit perfectly to your boots. A lot of times the bindings have some adjustment, sometimes in the heel loop to move it forward and backward. And a lot of times you're gonna see overlap when it comes to binding sizes. Burton, for instance, with the regular strap bindings, the medium goes up to an 11, but the large actually starts at a 10. So you're getting a little bit of overlap from 10, 10 and a half and 11. But when it comes to step on, there's zero overlap. And the reason is because this boot has three main locking points, two on the toe and most importantly on the heel. And the spacing has to be exactly right between the boot and the binding for that to lock in and to stay locked in safely. So with the men's bindings, with the size small, those are only gonna fit men's six to eight. With the medium, those are only gonna fit from eight and a half to 10 and a half. Large, 11 to 13, and then the extra large will fit those size 14 and 15 boots. When it comes to the women's boots, you're looking at a small as a five and six, medium is a six and a half to eight and a half, and then the large is nine to 11. And then when it comes to the kids' boots, there's basically the smalls binding, or sometimes you'll see it listed as large, and that basically is gonna fit from the size three up to size seven kids' boot. And then they got the new Grom binding and the new Grom boot, which is from 11 child up to two kids. Now when these things go together, the heel basically locks in in the back and then you've got your two toe pieces that lock in on either side. So you get those three clicking points. Now, if you don't have the right size binding, the spacing on the sole and on those cleats on the boot are not gonna line up and they're not gonna lock in. So as long as you have the right size binding to boot, that thing's gonna stay locked in all day long and it's not gonna come loose until you actually lift the lever and release the boot. Now, another good thing to note also is that these are not cross compatible. You cannot take a women's boot and stick it in a men's binding. You cannot take a men's smaller boot and fit it into a kid's binding. For instance, the kids, obviously it goes from a three to a seven. And yeah, there's some men's boots in a seven that do kind of overlap in that size range. But again, the spacing is not the same because the men's binding has to go from a six to an eight. So it's gonna be in a little bit different spot compared to the kids binding. Another thing is that there are companies that do make boots compatible with the Burton Step-On bindings. This DC Lotus Step-On, for instance. Obviously this thing fits perfectly inside this binding. So we actually have the right size binding for this boot. Now the sizing on them is exactly the same. There is no variance from company to company. When DC makes this boot, basically the heel piece and the sole are exactly the same as the Burton boot. There's variances here and there, mostly when it comes to the upper and the liner of the boot, but how it clicks in, is exactly the same. So there is not gonna be maybe a little different size range for DC or Nitro or any of those other companies making compatible boots. The sizing is identical. So again, when it comes down to it, it's pretty easy. It's actually easier to pick out your boots and binding sizes when it actually comes to the step on because there is no overlap. We do get a lot of questions when it comes to strap bindings. People asking like, oh, I've got this size 10 and a half. Should I get the medium? Should I get the large? Or we also get people that ask, hey, I've got this women's boot. Well, fit in this men's binding. When it comes down to it with the step on, it's very, very straightforward. There's only certain size boots that fit in certain size bindings. The men's boots have to go in the men's bindings. The women's boots have to go in the women's bindings or nothing's gonna fit properly. But if you've got any questions about what we talked about in the video, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We wanna make sure we can get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that it's gonna fit you and it's gonna fit your riding style and you're gonna be able to ride safely as well. Also make sure to like, subscribe, and get that notification bell on too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. And grab yourself a new pair of step-on boots and bindings. Make sure you got the right size. Click those things in and get out and ride. Because any day riding is a good day riding. <laughs>